not getting better with oh that's what they mean Hello, thank you for once again choosing to spend time with me. For those of you who are new, I'm Tracy, and I talk about all things digestion, fat loss, and wellness. If having a healthy body and natural weight loss is on your to-do list, then welcome. Today, we're talking about the big C, constipation. Not just any constipation, but chronic constipation. Constipation is having no, slow, irregular, or hard to pass stool. If these signs last more than three months, and y'all, I have been suffering for years. My mom said coming out the womb, I was having these problems. So if these problems are ongoing for you for even just a few months, then it's considered chronic. My doctor said my situation was chronic. Some of those things can be addressed and remedied really easily. For some of us, it's not that easy and we're going to talk about that today. Very honestly, very openly, I've already discussed that I was diagnosed with IBS. What you do not know, after having my colonoscopy done, doctor came in and sat down to discuss the findings with me. This man told me that not only was I dealing with IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, you're not real sure what caused it, what triggers it or whatever, that's for me to figure out from day to day. What he explained to me after they did the x-ray is that there's a section, not even a small section, there's a nice large section of my colon that is deflated. The colon, oh, I don't have anything nearby, but the colon is puffed up it's like this. So the colon is puffed up. There's a section, a nice chunk of section in my colon that instead of it having this air, this for things to pass through easily, it is flattened. When I eat food and it passes through, when it gets to this point here, if it doesn't have enough power, enough force to push and wedge itself underneath this part that's flat, then everything it just stays there. Then you have this traffic jam of things coming through, waiting to get strong enough, to get powerful enough to eh, lift up the section that's deflated and pass through. That is a big cause for why I constantly am dealing with constipation, gas, and bloating. Yeah, I got a broken colon. He gave me two options. The first option is to purchase medication every single month for $150 with insurance for the rest of my life, the entire rest of my life. The second option is surgery. He could go in cut out that section that's deflated in my colon, remove it, take the two parts that still have some give and join those together with the hopes that it will stay strong and inflated and things will pass through without problems. Side note, he says, is that it has about a 60% success rate of actually doing what we propose it would do. And let's not forget that it has a slight complication rate of maybe after the procedure is done me needing a colonoscopy bag that is a little pouch that is attached to the insides of you but it hangs on the outside and it collects all of your byproduct that that's on the inside is on the outside and I will need to walk around with fecal matter on the outside of me Ugh. That did not sound like a really good viable option to me. To date, I still have my $150 in my pocket every single month and I have not undergone surgery. But I am managing and dealing with my IBS and my constipation and gas and bloating, all of that every single day. For those of us who have chronic constipation or you just want and need a really good thorough cleansing, two options I have for you. Are you ready? The first is to make a strong brew of tea. You want to have smooth move tea or Guyam's natural laxative tea. You want to make it nice and strong. We're talking four to six ounces of water and let it steep for 10 to 15 minutes. These teas have as their main ingredient sienna. Sienna is a natural plant and it's good for helping with constipation. The plus factor of these two teas is that they have other herbs in them to help it not be so harsh. That way when you take the tea and you drink it, it will work and naturally get the motion going inside of you, your peristaltic function, having everything move through the way it needs to. 
but it won't do it to a point where you are needing to run to the bathroom with urgency. It has nice herbs in them like licorice root, caraway seeds, rubios, orange, fennel. Ah, fennel, you know, your girl likes fennel. Cinnamon, ginger, uh, coriander, all of these wonderful seeds that we've talked about before in spice blends and in teas. Those herbs are also inside of Smooth Move Tea and the Guyam's Natural Laxative Tea. These are phenomenal for helping to deal with chronic constipation. These teas are best consumed at night before you go to bed unless you have an overactive bladder. It is then recommended that you take it earlier in the day. It is important for us to remember to increase our water intake anytime we drink laxative teas and do not rely on them every single day. Every other day, once a week, once a month would be ideal. Option two when dealing with chronic constipation is magnesium. And I talked about how wonderful it is to just help our body our minds, everything to relax. Magnesium is a mineral that we need. I like to use the magnesium brand. It's called Calm Assure. Here it is, uh, Calm Assure. Another very popular brand is Calm, C-A-L-M, magnesium. I prefer the Calm Assure because it does not have that bubbly action that the natural Calm magnesium has. Anything that has bubbles and that's fizzy is a no-go for me. They both have really great flavors. Actually, Natural Calm has more flavors available as opposed to the Calm Assure. The way the magnesium drink works is, not only does it help us and our bodies just relax, it also pulls water or hydration into our colon to soften up any hardened fecal matter. Magnesium drinks can be consumed at any point throughout the day. After consuming the magnesium powder, things are not moving the way you imagined it would. Feel free to add in another extra half the amount recommended or a full amount and see how your body feels. You can continue to increase that amount each day until you get to what is considered bowel tolerance. You will know your tolerance level once you've added a certain amount and you or your bowels are really loose, almost borderline diarrhea. Once you get to that point, you're at your tolerance level. You want to back it down or take one amount less than that actual amount that caused you to get really loose stool and that will be your tolerance level. Do know that your tolerance level will change from time to time. I would not be me if I did not offer you a bonus and I have that for you right after you take a minute to let me know in the comment section if you have heard of either the tea or the magnesium powder as effective means for dealing with chronic constipation. Bonus time to step it up a notch. Sometimes we just need a little more than extra. This is the one time it's okay to do the most. A potent drink would be to take your laxative tea. Add to that the magnesium powder. It tastes really yummy, that's the first thing. If you do it and take it at nighttime, you will sleep really deeply and wake up just feeling very refreshed. Thirdly, you will shock and amaze yourself at the amount of removal that takes place. You will go, wait a minute, I'm going every single day. Why is there so much coming out now? Then you will believe me when I tell you that our bodies are not eliminating things as often as we think they are. Just because we're going every day does not mean that we are not constipated. A lot of health challenges can be avoided by just taking a dump. This concoction is a great concoction to have at least once a month. The magnesium powder, the Calm Assure, the Natural Calm brand, the Smooth Move Tea, and the Guyam Natural Laxative Tea. I will put links for all of those in the description. If you've enjoyed these easy, practical approaches to health, take a minute. If you've not already, press the subscribe button. I would love to have you join the family. Once you're subscribed, you will be notified of the next new video to my YouTube family. You know that I like to share stuff, and I also like to know stuff. I want you to tell me in the comment section at least one helpful thing you heard today. Don't forget to like the video. You came all the way this far, you should like the video. I hope you all know how much I appreciate you and I appreciate your time. Thank you for spending your time, that time with me. Till next week, stay well, stay healthy, stay safe. See you later. To see you every single week. Ah, I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's jump right into how I use food to tighten my loose belly.